Here's your latest update for the expected and ongoing wind and snow across the area. Our highlights today, you can see um, winter weather advisories, these are pretty much the same across the west. Also, the winter storm warning still in effect for the Bighorns as well as down here across Casper Mountain. A couple of changes though, we did add some winter weather advisories here across uh, Johnson as well as McFerrona counties. These go into effect at 6 p.m. tonight when the impacts will start. There will be some snow during the day. Start Other starting end times, just go to our website right there, weather.gov slash RIW. Now we take a look at the impacts. Least affected areas can be Riverton, Lander, that area. Will be some snow, some wind, but not really a ton of impacts from this system. Mainly snow across the western valleys. Heavy snow will be during the evening tonight. There will be on enough snow pretty much all the way through tomorrow. Cody Bighorn Basin. Main impact there will be wind, especially tonight and the Sunday morning. Now the three most impacted areas, Rock Springs will be mainly wind, maybe some gusts of 50 miles per hour during the day today. Should die off a little bit as we head toward tomorrow though. Buffalo and Casper, best chance to see in that combination of wind and snow. Again, there will be some snow around today, just not a lot of accumulation with that strong April sun. Biggest impacts will come in tonight into Sunday, especially later tonight when the wind really starts cranking. Now speaking of those winds, you see the strongest area winds across southern Wyoming gusts to 40, 50 miles per hour. This will be mainly during the day today, less wind as we head toward tonight. And it's pretty much the flip side when you go across northern areas here, especially up around Buffalo. It'll be breezy today, but the strongest winds coming in late today, and I think especially tonight, the Sunday, gusts to 50, maybe 60 miles per hour here. Anywhere pretty much from Powell, Grayville, Warland, all the way down to our cast, we're going to see gusts to 40, maybe 50 miles per hour, especially late tonight into Sunday. Now looking at those snowfall amounts, potential of two inches or more. Higher percent chance across most of the mountain ranges. We won't focus on that though. Anywhere from about 60 to about 80 percent across the western valleys. Now east of the divide, where we have those advisories in effect. About a 70 percent chance around Casper, about 74 percent around Buffalo. Better chances you head to west of Buffalo to the higher elevations there, also south of uh, downtown Casper, especially south of Wyoming Boulevard. About a 3 to 10 chance around the Thermopolis. Most other areas not seeing a chance of a lot of accumulating snow, though. We bumped this up to 6 inches. It really tapers off across the area. Two areas that really draw your attention. Casper, about a 1 in 3 chance there. About a 1 in 4 chance around Buffalo. Again, very chance that you go toward the higher elevations. Lower elevations, less of a chance. Now, the range of possibilities here. At least this much snow, I think, across the area. Things stay a little bit warmer. Maybe just a coating to an inch across many of the lower elevations, but... See where the biggest numbers are there? You can see big horns right here, there, there. That's at least 12 to 18 inches between now. The time this comes to an end on Sunday evening. At least 6 to 12 inches across Casper Mountain. Now, like the maximum amount. We have that same problem we had yesterday. Still a lot of uncertainties depending on where the snow band's set up. One or two degrees makes a big difference. Again, I'll go back and forth here. Casper, max of 8. Maybe just a coating to an inch. Buffalo, an inch. Maybe up to seven inches, depending on how things set up. So maybe a maximum of four to eight inches across eastern Wyoming. That's where the biggest amounts are going to be. Coating to maybe one or two inches across the um, Winter River Basin, Lander Foothills. Maybe an inch across portions of uh, Sweetwater County. One to two inches across much of the uh, Green River Basin. Maybe four to six inches across the western valleys. But look at where those bullseyes are. Right here in Casper Mountain, look at that color. What does that correspond to? Right there, things set up right, they could get three feet of additional snow. Best chance of that across the Bighorn, especially the southern Bighorn stuff here, Cloud Peak up toward areas up in Sheridan County. Again, things set up right, you get a long, prolonged period of snow. We'll be measuring this in feet two, maybe localized amounts up to three feet. Here's our resources for weather. Just go to our website, weather.gov slash RIW. For road conditions, again, don't call us for the road conditions, go here. Where I wrote that info on the web, you want to call them on the phone, 511 in state, 188 Railroad out of state. Be safe, everybody, and enjoy your weekend.